What's up you guys? It was really really good. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey Asabaca. If you've never been here before, but if you have... Hi girl! Oh my god! Stretch! Good morning. It is Sunday today and a Sunday well spent. It's a week of success. Oh, como el dicho? <laughs> I just made that up. But I'm here with Rosa. Hi Rosalind. Hello. Um, I'm here with her children too. Where are her children? I'll show them to you guys right now. But we came hiking, you guys. We came to hiking in Malibu, ya sabes, que aquí vivimos en la esquinita, so nos venimos caminando. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, we came hiking in Malibu. We haven't been, hi well, I haven't been hiking in a really long time. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit because it's really cute. I'm gonna probably take this off, but I'm wearing Lululemon Align sweater, some Lululemons. I'm wearing my Comadre sweater, my Crocs. The reason why I'm wearing my crop, also I got my hat at Litz and my glasses are Versace, my earrings are Placa Jewel. Girl, are you gonna hike in Crocs? I yeah, Crocs everywhere. No, but Amy's coming right now and she's gonna bring me my boots. Today's Sunday, like I told you, and basically after the hike, you guys, I'm not taking you because the camera is pretty big. Basically after this, I have to go to Costco, I have to go grocery shopping, stock up for like the stuff that I need because, you know, señora things. Ya se me acabaron todas las groceries so fast because I actually ate them. Before I would like buy groceries and then I would still eat out. Pero ahora que ya estamos solos en la casa de yo, I have to eat the food because otherwise it's gonna go bad and then we can't be wasting food like that. We're gonna wait for Amy and Randall. Look, let me show you guys versus children. Hi, Lola. Oh my God, your harness is so cute, girly. I love it. This is Lola. And then Dory's back there. Hi, Dory. Hi. Hi Dory! Hi pretty girl! Oh my god you guys, Dory is so well behaved. They're probably smelling my dog. Se portan tan bien estos perros. Amy and her boyfriend have pulled through. Sorry the box is a little dusty. As promised, here are my hiking shoes! This hike isn't even that hard, but you know. Okay, so you guys, this place that we come to, it's no dogs allowed. Pero... <laughs> Mi amiga... Rosa se trajo a sus hijos. But tell them why. Why? Why'd you bring them? I don't know. Why'd you bring them? Because last time I brought them and there was nobody. Okay, first of all, last time was my first time and I didn't know you couldn't bring dogs mm -hmm. until I walked up there and I saw the big old sign. It's, no it's a pretty dogs. Big sign. <laughs> it's huge and it has dogs crossed out. I'm like, what? But there was nobody here. We walked in, we did our thing. But ahorita, when we're pulling up, you guys can't see him, but he's all the way over there. Like, there's, there's a, a, a Power Ranger. ¿Cómo se llama? A, a ¿Cómo Power se llama? Ranger. A Ranger. Oh, a Ranger. A Park Ranger. A Park Ranger. Yeah, so I think he saw us because we were driving and the dogs are in the back and he probably saw us with the dogs. And nos estacionamos. And he's waiting at the entrance of the park. So yeah. he's probably going to tell us something. Yeah. Pero pues ni modo, we can go have coffee. <laughs> ¿Qué se le va a hacer, no, you know? I feel bad. Like you guys could go do it. And then... No te voy a dejar sola en el carro. No, I'll just walk them down there. Aww. You know? No, I feel bad. I think what I'm thinking is that they're probably cracking down on the whole dog thing more. Probably. Um, I don't know why, but usually every all of California hikes are usually pretty dog friendly. I just think because it's so tiny. Yeah, it's a pretty tight space up there. This hike is like thin, you know. But you're. Her dogs are really well behaved. Siquiera ya tengo los zapatos bien puestos. Ya estoy lista. Those are cute. They're super cute and they're so affordable, girl. Yeah. yeah. I got them on Amazon. No. Dick Sporting Goods, maybe? Oh. I don't remember where I got them. I think I found them on Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. But yeah, these are like the most affordable hiking shoes and they're like the beginner hiking shoes. They're very cute. So a bunch of people have them. So now we're gonna make a run for it. We're gonna try to get through the Ranger, through the Power Ranger. Oh, Dory, so cute, Dory. So cute, Dory. So cute. <laughs> It was eventful to say the least. Look at the girls, they're here. We actually stopped at the coffee bean. <laughs> we stopped at the coffee bean to get something to drink because dice la rosa que se me bajó el azúcar. Se mira. No, cancelado, yo soy no, saludable. No es eso, es que no. Así yo le digo que that's what Robo says. He's like, you have blood pressure? Cuando, cuando tengo hambre. Oh, no, no. Es just de tener hambre. No, 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 no. 
Y ¿Tiene, estoy saludable. Pero tiene no, no te, pues más o menos. I mean, yo me puedo aguantar, you know, but. Sí, no, hombre. Yeah. Me... We are gonna get, we're gonna share a turkey pesto provolone. <laughs> and we're gonna, and I'm gonna have a, a matcha ice blend from, <laughs> from coffee bean. Because I was like, I don't wanna get coffee. I wanna get my Nespresso coffee later on today. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's why I got that matcha ice me blend. Lo sí, perdóname lo. <laughs> but look, Lola did so well today. Good job, girly. Hey, I know Lola. Yay. And then Dory back there, so cute. Let me show you what I got at Costco this week. Now I want to tell you guys, I ended up going to a different Costco this time, one that's like a little bit further from my house. I was just on my way home. It's kind of crazy how not all Costcos have the same thing. Honestly, there's a little bit of a theory for me that like, depending on where you go is the kind of like products you're gonna have. So just be thoughtful of that when you're shopping at your local Costco. I ended up getting frozen vegetables. The reason being is because making these or cooking these is super simple. You literally just pop them on the stove or on the microwave. And I know a lot of you guys probably don't eat microwave foods because you're like super healthy, but I am beginning to step into senora hood. So slow and steady, easier for me. Everybody's happier. Organic rice cauliflower stir fry. You guys, these are so good and so easy to make, literally. I used to eat these when I lived with Amy and basically I would make one of these and then I would like air fry a piece of salmon. Oh my God, colimoncito, full course meal right there. The only thing about that is I can eat that but Denny can't because he doesn't really like um, fish, so. I have to figure out like a way around that. Sangria from Costco. I've tried it before. It's really, really good. So the reason why I got it is because it's been a minute since I've had it. So I wanted to have some because I don't think I told you guys, but we're going to be having a Galentine's Day brunch and I'm going to be hosting it here at my house. So I wanted to already try the sangria because I told the girls that I wanted to have... I told the girls that I wanted to have mimosas, but I mean, so I was like, okay, I'll have mimosas and sangria. So I'm gonna have this over here for her. And honestly, like you could never go wrong with sangria. I also got this downy fresh protectant or in odor defense like little beads i'm like a total victim of marketing because it literally they had a sign that said like squeeze them so you can smell it and like it has three little holes so obviously when you squeeze it baule bien rico as soon as i did that it literally smells so good i was like i need to take these i also bought some organic ground beef because i'm gonna be making hamburgers and then i can also make like other things that have me i just need to google what i need to make or if you guys have some easy recipes definitely let me know what i can make with ground beef the costco that i went to didn't have fresh berries so i had to buy frozen ones which there's nothing wrong with because if you look here in the back the secret to frozen vegetables and fruit is seeing the ingredients. If it has any chemicals, you don't need to be buying it. But this, the ingredients is literally raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. They don't have any extra chemicals. These are gonna work great for my smoothie. And it's a lot of them. And all of this only costs like either $9.99 or $12.99. I'm like, what? Got some lemon pepper seasoning because I love lemon pepper and some limones. If you guys can tell, there's a little bit of, of a theme here for me. I love anything lemon. Let me put all this away and then we actually have to do some laundry because girl, they're gonna come pick up the washer for the fourth time. Literally, Lowe's lives at my house at this point. Third washer that they're gonna come bring me. So let us let me just put this away and then let me put a load in the washer and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so the guys from Lowe's just called me and they told me that they're literally eight minutes away. I wanted to show you guys what's wrong with this washer and dryer. Now, if you guys remember the whole washer and dryer, my, dryer saga that we've had on this channel, the first one that we had had a hit on it. We took it back, we didn't want it. This is the second washer and dryer that they bring me. Now, from the outside, everything looks great, everything looks fantastic, and it works, but the only bad thing with this one is, if you could tell right here, it hasn't stopped dripping water ever since they installed it. So sometimes, it'll get full of water here, and obviously, that's not good because we're wasting water, y quién va a pagar por el agua? Pues obviamente que Lowe's no, ¿verdad? I literally call Lowe's like a thousand times, and I think they're just tired of me. So they would be like, oh, I'm gonna transfer you here. I'm gonna transfer you there. And then I would have to explain things over and over and over and over again. Okay. And I ended up with the manager of Lowe's, and he was like, okay, I'm gonna send you a new washer and dryer, but this is the last one that we have of this 
make and model and i was like okay cool so yesterday they showed up and then it was a different set of delivery guys and they were like okay well let me see what's wrong and i told them i was like i don't personally think there's anything wrong with the washer i think basically what's happening is when they're installing it they're leaving a llave abierta de más like open too much and so it's overfilling water like i don't think there's anything wrong with the dryer i mean the washer so he inspected it and he's like no it's actually broken here he ended up taking this part out like all the way and he says that under there it must be broken and that's why it's dropping water into the drum he's like that's what's probably wrong don't worry we'll got you a new one they're gonna come drop off the other one and they he tells his partner he's like hey take the other way and then the señor comes and he's like oh the one that we have in the car right now the new one it has a dent on the side Girl, <laughs> me está sacando canas verdes, and they're like, "Do you mind the dent on the side?" And I was like, "Of course I mind." Like all this started because the first washer that they brought me had a dent in the front. Like, yes, don't even drop it off. Just leave this one here. Um, like, no, please don't leave that one here. Like, just take it and then bring me another one. So they're like, "Okay, well the manager is going to be in contact with you, but we're going to put in our notes that we didn't drop one off." And I was like, "Okay, cool." Obviamente, el manager nunca me habló. And then Lowe's delivery, which is like an automated machine, calls me yesterday and is like, hey, tomorrow we're going to come have a drop off between four and nine, which they're a little bit earlier, which I don't mind. So right now the guy just called me and he's like, hey, we're going to go drop off a washer and pick up another one. And I was like, okay, cool. So you do have a new one. Hopefully the washer that they're coming to drop off right now number one has nothing wrong with it and number two doesn't have any dents and number three that it please works correctly for the love of god they already asked me if i didn't just want to switch to another washer and dryer but i personally don't because i like this washer and dryer the stainless steel matches with all my other appliances and i've used this washer and dryer when i live with amy i already know how it works it's really efficient i love it why do i have to get a new one just because they give me they keep giving me like messed up ones i will give you guys this thankfully lows even though it's been like a headache to try and get like people to listen to me those where i actually bought it like not lows corporate but the actual lows where i bought it they're just kind of over me because obviously in their notes they could see that i bought a washer that i gave it away or that i returned it that i they sent me another one and i'm returning it and that i sent the third one back so obviamente they're probably tired of me but i'm like i'm sorry but i paid full price for this washer and dryer i'm not just gonna like take it just because you want me to which honestly you guys looking back i'm so glad that we didn't take that 20 percent back so acuerdan that they were trying to give me like 120 dollars if i would have taken those 120 dollars they literally would have been like not my circus not my monkeys you have to deal with it because we gave you 120 dollars back you didn't pay full price so that's your problem now gracias a dios les dijimos que no a esos 120 dollars because now they actually have to deal with us and these messed up washers that they keep giving us <gasps> So, they're on their way right now. Um, hopefully, the other one is perfect and we don't have to deal with anything else. Cuando les estén instalando, les voy a decir que chequen las mangueras de atrás, that everything looks good. I hope this is the last one, you guys. I hope this is the last one. So, say goodbye to this messed up washer. And, like, the craziest thing is that this washer looked okay from every angle. Like, it doesn't have any dents. Everything's okay. But it literally won't stop leaking water into the drum. So, washer... Hopefully the next one, we don't have to deal with this. Okay, freshly installed washer. Look, literal, todavía tiene las cosas con las que viene adentro. Look at this. Nothing is leaking. We're gonna run a cycle to test it out. It's literally never been used before. Everything's brand new. Hopefully, hopefully this is the one. I'm gonna let it run a cycle. And then after the cycle's over, we're gonna see if it's still leaking. Basically, the guy said that what he thinks happened is that the first one was installed correctly. It was just like an internal issue. So Lowe's rather send me a new one because what they're gonna do is van a regresar esa and they're gonna get their money back. So why would they wanna deal with sending somebody to fix it? Well, they just could give me a new one. This is literally the fourth washer. This is crazy. I didn't know these are the type of things that like, people go through when they own their own house because when you live in an apartment or you rent literal no mas hablas hey no esta sirviendo traeme otra or whatever like the landlord always takes care of it i'm gonna put like a cycle to wash you <sighs> like
The washer just finished. This is the moment of truth. Everybody cross your fingers. Let's hope there's no water leaking. Oh, there's no water leaking. Thank you, Jesus. Could this be the end of the washer drama? Oh my God, you guys. This literally took 18 years.